Thank you for tuning in, and welcome back to the Sandwich of Coherency. Oh, boy. Happy Martin Luther King Day to all of you. Um, But, yes, it is. I want to start with that and say that it actually did snow here in North Carolina. Oh, my gosh. There is snow everywhere. It is very nice. I actually haven't seen it snow like this in quite some time outside of the mountain area. So, but it's a little bit sunny now. It's about three degrees Celsius. We'll wait and see. They're saying it won't snow again, and that that makes me very sad. But I would like another round of that to come through. Maybe like another four to five inches would be nice. Get through the week. But... Let's just go ahead and jump into what we're here for. Now, there has been some just some crazy things coming out and just so much odd information to behold. And, you know, I, I hope we have time to get into all the things I would love to get into with you today in this episode, but we're going to go ahead and start with the very first story that I came that I came across uh, that I wanted to talk about and so we might not have time to get to too much else and this is a situation involving someone by the name of Hannah Tubbs and that is the name that is being given and that's what we're going to address them by now the reason I'm, I'm speaking on this is because this is a very interesting case. And this is what happened out in Los Angeles. Um, there seems to be a lot of people very angry. And I absolutely understand why they are angry. And I absolutely agree with why they are angry. Because apparently Hannah Tubbs is a transgender woman who raped a 10 year old girl that will be and they'll be they're being charged as a juvenile now that already in the title is um incorrect so let me go ahead and correct that for them hannah tubbs a man raped a 10 year old girl and he is going to be charged as a juvenile now that's probably going to upset some people like, oh my God, how could you say that? Uh, she identifies as a woman. Okay. So therefore you need to address her as such and respect her pronouns. And my response to you is you can take that nonsense, kick it out the door or shove it up your butt. I really don't give two fucks. Let me take, here's a little thing. Respect should not be expect it nor is it deserved it is earned you have to earn that and i just like with anyone else okay that falls into this category i do not and i will not respect the ideals or the wants or the whims of anyone that will physically or sexually assault any man, woman, or child. And in this case, children. I have no respect. There is not a single fuck to give in my body. Zero respect. For any man, or any one, any woman, any man or woman, That would sexually assault, physically assault a child. There is none to be given. And I don't care if you're pre-transition, post, pre or post-stop, whatever you identify as. If you sexually assault children, you are scum. You are the bottom of the bottom. You should be buried under the fucking jail. 
don't give me this. Oh, he's just having, no, hell no. Get them, get them some fucking help. But do not try to play them off as some kind of having problems and they need special treatment. Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. But let me, let me go ahead and read this to you because, um, I'm a little hot and angry already. Just so Los Angeles County, I'm, I'm going to say this the proper way. Okay. So the, they say transgender woman, but I'm going to correct them throughout this thing. All right. So in Los Angeles County, a man, after pleading guilty to sexually assaulting a minor girl in 2014, will now probably be only spending minimal time behind bars or he will be placed under house arrest. And this has led to outrage among prosecutors. Understand this. Let me read this in their fashion um, so that you can understand why this is quite disturbing. A transgender woman, after pleading guilty to sexually assaulting a minor girl in 2014, will now probably only be spending minimal time behind bars or she will be placed under house arrest. And this has led to outrage among prosecutors. These words, the way it's worded, this is very important as we get, as we continue through this whole thing because it's going to make a little bit more sense of why I'm angry and why everybody listening to this right now should be absolutely fucking furious okay the Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gasson reportedly decided to prosecute the mentally disur disturbed Hannah Tubbs as a juvenile because she was 17 when she violated a 10 year old inside the restroom of Denny's in Palmdale, California on New Year's Eve. Mind you, Hannah was only a few weeks from turning 18. Now, the question now begins. Um, I'm asking this question now before we get through this so you'll understand. If Hannah Tubbs were 18, would he have been charged for his crimes as an adult? Okay, here's what the DA wrote. The DA took this decision because he does not want the 26-year-old felon who used to identify as a boy named James then to be attacked inside adult jail because of her gender identity. Wait, what, what, what? Wait, 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 you're going to put them in a children's jail because you don't want the adult to be treated like an adult by the other adults and go through what the other adults in the prison have end up going through there's a lot of mentally disturbed people in prison bro why are they not getting this special treatment but let me continue okay tubs attacked the victim Inside the loo after holding her by the throat and sticking his hand inside her pants. And was going at it until finally somebody walked into the restroom and scared him off. Now he fled from the restaurant and for several years was un unidentified until a cold hit on DNA. He was identified. In the state of Idaho. Okay. Now. This this is important. What I'm reason I'm saying this. Is because according to. The DA. Okay. Now this is according to the DA. That people. The teenagers. Up until. Right. This is why they. They. The DA has refused to try juveniles as adults, citing studies that show teenage brains aren't fully developed until 25 and claims that young offenders may be re rehabilitated in juvenile facilities. This, this is why 
And this is important. So you have to understand what I'm saying here. Teenage brains aren't fully developed until the age of 25 is what he's saying. So you have to ask yourself, will he apply this rule to every single person that commits a crime up until the age of 25? Will they all be charged as juveniles so that they don't have to be around the adults? And and how many people that are already serving time has he reduced their sentences or uh, released them from jail for time served considering the fact that they were juveniles, as he puts it, up until 25 and their brains are not fully developed? So according to the LA Times, when she, when he is sentenced later this month. Tubbs faces a brief stint in the juvenile hall. Tubbs is 26 now. I want to point that out. He did this when he was 17. And now he's 26. But he's transitioned to a woman, is what they're saying. But, you know, because of his... Gender identity, we, we can't put him in the adult jail. We have to protect him and keep him safe. Man, that's wild. Because many jails and prisons have special units for people that rape and sexually assault women and children. To keep them separate from the rest of the population, they just keep them all congregated together together. They also have special areas for housing for those that are multi-gendered, as you say, trans and whatnot, to keep them from being assaulted from the rest of the general population. So my question is, why can't you stick tubs in there? And if, since this is California, and all you have to do is say it, and that automatically makes it so, why can't you send them to a women's facility? And this is the, this is the crazy thing of the world we live in right now. Is that that child, when they were 10, if they were to state that they were sexually molested by a male, they would be chastised by the adults for misgendering Hannah Tubbs because they have to protect Hannah Tubbs despite the fact that a child was assaulted. Now, I'm not trying to use that as any way to conflate or as a weapon for anything. I'm just stating that this is this is pretty messed up because I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, are, are, does this mean this uh, DA is going to treat every rapist, murderer, criminal under the age of 25 as a juvenile? Okay, and and let's understand something. A lot of times people do get charged as juveniles. And then when they turn 18, they send them to the adult prison. I don't understand why... We're creating this precedent of special, special privileges for this person. Now let's keep in mind also that Tubbs has also been arrested for battery, drug possession, violation of probation in Ohio, I mean in Idaho and Washington, assault with daily weapons, and as well, Sexually assaulting a minor. And this is the state of things in California. This is the state where the law was changed and is now no longer considered a heinous crime to knowingly give people HIV in that state.
hell. I mean, I could be mistaken, but I swear I've heard that it's, uh, it's taboo to even ask people. I used to live in California as a child. We left many, many years ago. And I, I, I look back now as an adult and, you know, I'm, I'm thankful every single day that that choice was made because the state has a lot of potential, but it's going in the shithole because everything now has become feelings over facts. Facts don't matter. Your feelings are what the facts are. You know, I'll get into a little bit more about this next time, but California has some new taxes they're proposing. Which will essentially double everybody's taxes. And wait till you find out what it is they want to pay for. But I, I highly recommend everybody peacefully and calmly and cordially contact the Los Angeles District Attorney and ask him why and does this rule apply to everyone or is this just special situations because I'm pretty sure that in the time that he has been in charge as the DA there have been many people who didn't get this special treatment hmm and again like I said people can say you can call me a bigot you can say whatever you want. And like I've said before, if you've caught the YouTube episodes, I don't care what you believe in. That's in your mind. You're, you're, you're welcome to identify however and as whatever you want to. That's you. That is your right. And you have, there's nothing to stop you from doing that. But I don't have to play along. I don't, you can't make me do that. And the thing is, is that if that's a problem, you don't have to talk to me. You can walk away because if it's a problem, I'm just going to walk away. I'm not going to argue, <laughs> you know, so you can call me what you want. You can say that I'm looking at this wrong way, but that's okay. That's your right. You can feel that way. But my point is that just because you transition to a woman doesn't mean I'm going to stop calling you a man. When you rape little children and sexually assault minors, because I'm, honestly, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter what you identify as. If you sexually assault children, minors and women, I, or anybody in general, I have no respect for you. And I'm going to call you all kinds of names. And many of them you're not going to like. But that doesn't matter because I don't respect you and you can't make me. Whatever respect I could have given you was thrown out the window when you decided to sexually assault people. So call me what you want. Doesn't matter to me. Because reality is reality. But I thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. We'll catch you next time.